Hello everybody, my name is Kenneth Elliott and today I'm going to do a small tutorial that talks about how to create a data feed for Google Shopping with your CS CARP um, software. Um, <clears throat> now I understand there are a lot of programs out there that can do this um, but you'll have to pay money for those um, plugins to add to CS Carp. I'm trying to um, originally when I did this I could not figure this out a long time ago I was my I myself also brought one of those plugins and it has worked very well on one of my other websites um, backing up a little bit I do operate a number of websites I operate approximately three websites with CS Cart in it um, the first one that I ever did, I did buy a plugin for um, doing the uh, putting together a data feed for Google Shopping. Um, I love it; it works very good. But only problems with that plugin is that I would have to buy a new plugin every single time I opened a new store. So I said, I said, look, you know, there's got to be a way to use the data feed plugin add-on that already comes with CS Cart. So I set out to see how can I do that. So I figured it out. I'm trying to pass it on to you. First of all, things that you need. Of course you will need to be a member of Google Shopping. In order to get to the to site you need to type in for your URL google.com slash base they will take you to this fairly simple site um, if you already are if you already have a Google account if you already participate in AdSense or anything you already have a Google account all you would need to do is go in and click the sign in merchant once you sign in you will go straight to their merchant page and they'll go through all the little things that you need to do in order to sign up and everything like that me myself I'm already a merchant so I did not need to have to do that second of all what you need <clears throat> there are certain things that Google base uh, Google shopping has to have in order to approve your data feed one thing is you need to know the U UPC codes of your products. Now, if you have products that do not have UPC code, you can um, send a document or ask Google to not to allow you to produce a data feed that does not have your UPC codes. You will have to wait for them to approve that. But if you have your UPC codes, you need to add UPC codes in here. How do you do that? So I'm operating in the 2.2.4 version of CS Cart for this store. Same for any other store. You need to go to products and you need to go to your product features. Once you go to this page, then you need to go ahead and create or add features. Me, myself, I created features and also I created groups well not on this site but on my other sites I did that now I added a place where I could put the item number the manufacturer the product condition product condition is if it is new if it's used or anything like that UPC the weight of the product um, oh I did I, I did add another group this is my other group availability very important this was my hang up when Google changed over and said that this attribute was necessary in order to even have a data feed <clears throat> that's that was my sticking point that's why I went out and brought a new plugin but once I figured out that I can use this data feed plugin and have availability link or attribute I didn't have to buy a new one for this for this site so okay you need the availability availability is going to be in stock out of stock 
there are other attributes things that you can't add to that but I would say go ahead and check the Google um, documentation to figure out exactly what what else you can add um, I also add a Google base so this is where my Google base is, is what category is this associated with so you know it drills down where you want this to be shown in the Google um, shopping cart or shopping um, on a Google site also you can add payment accept it I have not gotten this to work so I don't include this into my um, data feed but I have it there in case I ever figure out how to get it to work once you have all these attributes these things in your product features then you move over to your administration and you go to your data feed area now if you don't have this add-on um, installed on your site you will not get this option this data feed option so in, in order to get it activated you need to go to add-ons and then you go to your data feed area and you this will be install and you need to install it right here <clears throat> let me go back now get to data feed and for this side I, I do do being also and you can check out some of my other video I have another video out there that talks about how to set up being also now for Google you go on the edit alright so data feed name I did Google for my file name I did google.txt um, I did not do any enclosures here you can do quotes or something like that I did not put any quotes or anything in this feed um, and everything else that's here that's pretty much just default stuff that I had on my site my delimiter is I did it with a tab delimiter now you can change it do it where you want I do tab myself and I have my feed going to a specific directory in my directory structure just to know where is that where I'm going to point Google base to in order to uh, for them to go ahead and download the, te the text file I'm also doing a cron job that will go out and it will it will go ahead and do the cron job every day which will upload my um, data feed to my server and it could be and it will anything that I add to the to the site or add to the um, cart it will automatically be added daily so let's look at the field mapping so and you will you'll be able to see more of what your categories you would need to have um, I I go out to I did a search on Google category and that should bring you to support.google.com I clicked into this help document and within the help document it has a place here where you could drill down exactly where um, you need to what's what's the, going to be the path in Google shopping for each product that you need <coughs> well that's the, the drill down for um, for the categories section but there is another document out there that will tell you exactly what fields are are that you have to have and what fields you don't need to have uh, I would recommend just do a little search on Google Shopping um, fields necessary fields or something like that and uh, this should give you what you need the main things that I put in mind is the ID Google product category product type quantity price availability UBC title manufacturer description of the item um, the product URL the image URL my condition of the product the shipping weight of my product the manufacturer who manufactures it and the UPC of the product which is MPN maps to their MPM on their and their categories and their attributes 
So once you get all that straight, and you put all that stuff in, map it to the right fields inside your store. And as I said in the beginning, these all map to fields that I have either that are automatically put in the store or fields that I created through products and product features. Once I have everything mapped, go ahead and save it. And then now you should have, you could go ahead and export, export this to server. On your server now, you should have that text file. Once you have that text file and on your server, now it's time that you could go to Google Base. Google Base. Google.com slash base. <coughs> you can sign in. Now this is not the store that I'm, I'm this is one of my other stores. You go to once you're in the merchant center, you go to data feeds and you would go ahead and do a daily upload and you will enter in your Google Merchant what your your file is going to be and everything. Like I said, this is not that store that I was working on. This is one of my other stores and it's named different and it is an XML. So disregard this one. As I was talking before, I did buy a plugin that did provide an XML um, document for this Merchant Center. I am using the XML for that. You want to go ahead and do your daily upload, and inside your daily upload, you're going to schedule what time you're going to get upload everything, um, where the merchant URL is, and you're going to update and fit, fetch it. You're not going to get this exact dialog when you set it up. You know, when you do a new data feed like here, that's when you'll get all this stuff and you'll set all this stuff up. And just go through their wizard, their little wizard. Very easy. And then once it's finished, it will update your status. It will it it will go through that and then it will say, look, this is your status. This is what you're going to, you know. If anything's wrong, it will give you your warnings and everything like that. Then you'll have to go through all the warnings and all the problems. Go back to your feed, go back to your store, and fix all those problems. Once all that's done, you'll get a status like this and say everything is is, is set. Now, you will not see your, your products there the first day. It will take a little bit of time for Google to approve all your products, to look through all your products and make sure everything is right. Once everything is right, then your your products will start to show up in on the website on on Google.com. Let's say, for example, for me, one of my stores has a a product called Toot Scoop. Or oh, let's look at well, you go to shopping two scoop let me see for this one this is one of the products that I have in one of my other stores I'm trying to find and see where I'm at hmm. I don't see it here I am this is one of my other stores right here and it is showing up inside of Google Shopping. So, like I said, it's easy to get in. It's just a matter of really putting together the the feed data feed, and it's not any code changes that you need to put into the code. Which, for being shopping, I had to put together a code change in order to get all that to work. No code changes here. Um, Stra fairly straightforward and like I said you have to set up your cron job in order to have this to execute every day and upload to them so that if you ever have any products that go in stock or out of stock it will automatically well it will take care of that um, as you go through it as you um, add or, or delete products only thing is with this solution when your products go out of stock Let's say, for example, let me see, let me go to one of my products.
let's say for example this product right here sweet home Sam product went out of stock and I came in here and I said I want to I want to have zero products left I will need to manually go to my features area and I would have to put this out of stock now I as I show I added other things in here I have available for order I have in stock out of stock and pre-order you can add other things also as status but you'll have to do that manually on other products other plugins that you pay for that will be done automatically uh, without you having to do anything but of course you are paying for a premium for that product so if you're if you're do not if you don't want to do that every time a product goes in stock or out of stock I recommend go ahead and pay for the plugin me myself I wanted to just test the site out and make sure the site is working right and it's making money before I spend money on other plugins that um, I may not recoup my money for okay and that is it exactly how to do Google how to have a Google data feed automatically go out there for you and have Google to come and grab it and add to their shopping cart if you have any questions please go ahead and shoot me um, a comment on this video at the bottom if you like the video please give me a thumbs up um, I, and like I said um, uh, you'll, you'll have it it doesn't take that long it's really quick and it probably take you about 30 minutes maybe even an hour if you don't know exactly what you're doing you wanna you know really research some other things but if you know what you're doing you can set this up about 15 20 minutes once again my name is Kenneth Elliott any questions leave them at the bottom thumbs up if you like it and have a great day bye bye